Hello everyone, come on in, it's Charlotte here. Today I am doing a journal share. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and a beautiful Mother's Day. I uh, was able to finish my three um, in the company of Owl, Owls and Raptors journals and they are exquisite. I mean, I think they're exquisite. And I wanna thank each and every one of you that came along with me on this journey. So I am going to start with, I think, signature one and then go to two and go to three. And so this is what, I think this is signature. I will know the minute I open it up. So we will start with this one. I think this is signature one. And I'm explaining it that way because you went through the entire process with me. So you saw the creation of each and every one of these. The cover fabric on all of them is the same. I used some of this vintage lace on each one. And this is the back. They all have the same... Um, color seam binding ribbon closure. The actual closure is like this on two of them, but on one of them, it is a wraparound. I used some of the tracing paper with this princess on the cover here and a Tim Holtz frame. Each one has got a Tim Holtz frame. And then here's one of the owls. Then each one on the cover has some charms. This has a a silver bobble and a little, hopefully you can see this, some seed beads, so a, a couple silver um, flowers and a little butterfly. And then I've got some glass beads here and some seed beads and then this tortoise. I know that has nothing to do with the kit, but the color was fantastic with this lace and I thought it was so beautiful. So that is on the front of this one. So really quickly, I won't take everything apart because like I mentioned, we had done these together. This is, okay, this is signature two. This is not signature one, this is signature two. And the reason that's important is this is how it will go when I list them. It'll be by signature one, signature two, signature three, and that will be in the description um, area of each one. So this is actually signature two. And it's got a pocket like this on the front and the back. There is a piece of tracing paper here that is a postcard, and there is an envelope with paper inside on that one. And that's what I meant about not pulling everything out and going through. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I am wrong. This is signature one. Remember, we had this very vintage old paper in this one. So this is signature one. It has, I did, it had a little rip at the bottom here because it is so old, so I put some washi tape down there. Uh, very vintage dictionary paper, I think that is. And then if you remember, we had this, we had this tag. I decided to do nothing with this. I just thought this is a great place to put a photo or to journal on, so I left it. We've got the tags there. We've got that tag. And if you wanna go back, very vintage, vintage old storybook paper, the barn owl. So I thought that was perfect for here. We've got this flip out here. And then we have uh, these uh, bones here. I added a tree of life charm down here at the bottom. We have this tuck with a tag in a pocket. Another one, I left this like this, so if you wanted to apply glue here, you could create a pocket of your own. And then if you remember, we did that. There was this coloring book page here. Here is the center. Now, in the center, I used a variety of beads. Here's a charm. I've got glue on my fingers. I apologize. But I've got seed beads. Here is a handmade with love charm wing a wing i thought that was appropriate because these are birds and um we've got a beautiful glass bead here and um a charm here that says love and a key 
and there is a little silver flower there and uh, more ephemera there and like I said we created all of these all of this ephemera on uh, camera so uh, if you were with me when we did this then you know what this is beautiful beautiful kit by um, that's an envelope it's got tags inside here's a journal card beautiful kit by a jar at medieval mirage and here is the back so this is signature one this one here i think this one has the most ephemera in it they're all really full but this one has the most so here's signature one this is signature two and this one has got the a tree of life um two different beaded beaded um charms and it's got the owl on the uh, front along with another. There's that little piece of lace. And then here is the back. This actually has a wraparound piece of file folder. And you can um, go ahead and journal inside if you want. Or you can just leave this like this the back does the same thing it opens up so this is how I did this uh, this signature and we've got a couple pieces of paper in there you remember we did all of this online put some ribbon and some um, embroidery floss on that paper clip we have this tuck here and these were from doing all the little scrap collages Here's one of the uh, collages there. And here is a flip out with a tag. This then is a pocket with an envelope and it has something inside. I did the same thing on this page here. If you wanted to glue this, you could create a pocket. Another tag with a, or another uh, pocket with a journal card. Some vintage storybook and another journal card. Another one of these windows with the wax seals. And then on this one, we've got seed beads and that same uh, Handmade with Love, a key, a really, really pretty glass heart and glass bead. And on this side, we have seed beads, more glass beads and, and a silver um, charm. So that is what is on that signature. And then on here, we've got a little tuck, another journal card, and this flips out. Like I said, each one of these, there's a video on how I did all of this. So if you've been watching, then I'm sure you're pretty familiar with um, these. journal card there and this is the back it's got a postcard this is not from uh, the collection and then there's an envelope with some tags inside in the back this also opens up so that you can journal inside of there so this is signature two signature two has that um, file folder that's been collaged that opens up from the front. So this is signature two. Then signature three, and I know somebody is interested in this, so by the time this is on, this one may be gone. This uh, seam binding ribbon wraps around this one, and this one has, that. this was the last of that uh, beautiful lace that I had. And so I went ahead and pulled out another vintage lace. These have both been coffee dyed. There's a tree of life down here along with some beadwork. Here's a raptor stamp and then an owl. And when we go inside this one, this has a pocket on the inside like that on the front and also on the back. And this is the one that 
that uh, I put this large journal card in because it, it wouldn't fit inside the signature itself and it's got three tags. This was actually, um, ephemera-wise, the smallest of the three. So we have a tuck here that we created with our scrappy bits. Here is an envelope pocket, vintage page, a journal card. I used some of the really old vintage lace on the end of that paper clip. A wax seal. This has a vintage paper here and um, snippet there and then a tag there. And then this is the one where I use this uh, wrapper where that opens out. A uh, card here that comes off and an envelope here is a little tuck that's attached to this card here. Uh, vintage uh, bird page from a book. Here is a tag, stamp, and another snippet. The center of this one has a giraffe that has nothing to do with anything, but isn't he cute? He was so cute, I just wanted to use him. We've got some charms and seed beads. There is a handmade with love, a glass bead, and one of those charms. And on this other string, there's a wing and another um, uh, bead and seed beads, another glass bead and a key. Here is a tuck, but there's nothing behind it. This was a um, an envelope. Here is a tag. If you remember when we created this, I took this tag here and I put a, a beaded charm a wax seal and um, yeah that's how that goes then we've got another one of these windows and I put some of the vintage lace at the top of that paper clip it's the other side of that vintage bird here's a um, journal card another one of the snippets that folds out here is an envelope pocket. It's got a tag in the front. If you remember when we created these, it's got two tags inside, and this is the one that's got that really, really cute owl tag that comes out the bottom. Some writing paper. This had the um, envelope in it. Uh, I didn't put anything inside of that. Then we have another one of our tucks that we made with our scraps. And in the back, this was too large to put in the book itself. And so there's a couple tags. There's that tag there. And then on the other side, there is this tag. So just really cute. And here is the pocket. So this is signature three. It's incredible to me that, um, Jarf's kits are so beautiful that you literally, out of one kit, can make three beautiful, beautiful journals. And you can see it with your own eyes. Here they are. Um, I did not use, I didn't print papers twice. Uh, so this is the kit. And there is signature three, signature two, and signature one. So everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this. We are going on to my next design team challenge, which is going to be um, mushrooms and ferns. And that is from the beautiful and talented Artie Mays. So uh, yeah, hopefully I will be in tomorrow. If not, Wednesday for sure. So take care, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.